and then there's that. You don't need to fill in your names because you have to be here to win. All right, so we're each putting on this right here? Yes, one of those, and you're in the orange group. Okay. I love your backpack. Good evening, everyone. We like to start right on time. And according to your agenda, we're going to start at 6.15, and it's 6.15, so thank you for being here. And that's what this night, night is about. It's all about good nutrition and physical fitness and a lot of fun. I work for an organization called Greater Fall River Partners for a Healthier Community. We do these family fun nights all over the Greater Fall River area, but for the most part, it's been primarily in the city of Fall River itself. This is the very first family fun night we have ever done in Westport. And I'm all excited, and you should be excited too. So at the end, this is a great turnout, and we have more people coming in who will catch up with you as we go along. We have three stations set up this evening. One is right here in the cafetorium. We have resource people. We have people from various resources, resource agencies that serve folks in the greater Fall River area who have all kinds of information to share with you, uh, as well as freebies. A lot of them have giveaways, so this is nice. Make sure you ask if they have giveaways. So what we're going to do, once I send you to one of those three stations in whichever color group you're in, right, you've been coded, then you will be at that station for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to move you all group for group. So whoever was in the workout station will come to here, whoever was here will go to the media center, which is where the uh, chef is, uh, etc. So you'll each get to do everything for 20 minutes. Long enough to learn, but not long enough to get bored. At the end of those three 20-minute segments, which will be 20 past 7, you will all come back here. You will all want to come back here, because that's what the door prize starring is going to happen. When you came in, you each should have gotten one door prize ticket per family. Everybody got that? And, and one half of the ticket that you have should have been dropped in the door prize box. Okay? Uh, groceries. Good groceries. That's what we're going to be giving away later this evening. So you want to be back here. You will have to be here to win because obviously we didn't take your names on those slips. So if you're not here, you don't get what we're giving away. Okay? That's how it works. All right. Anyone have any questions? You've all got your agenda as, as to how it flows. We will let you know when it's time to move to the next station. Okay? Everybody ready to go?
So if you haven't drank it in a while, you drink it like, whoa, that's like super sweet. You know if you drink something like that's really sweet and you feel like it's not sweet, you drink way too much sugar. You need to take it down a little bit. So take your fruit juice, cut it in half. You can also take what we call salsa water, the fizzy bubblies, and you can mix it with 100% fruit juice. And now you get what we call an unsoda. Because is soda healthy? No. No. Not at all. So when you drink fruit juice, right, this says 100% juice on it, right? It says 100%. That's what you want to go for. And also, I was really impressed with this farm stand. So I'm like, they're just getting me with the advertising. They know I love farms, right? But then I look at the ingredients, and who wants to try to read the ingredients? You have good eyes? Because it's kind of small. Okay. Um, yeah. Strawberry, par, and red. Juice. That's it. Could you understand everything that was in there? Impressive, right? Go, go Tropicana. If your little child can read what's in the food, if they can't read it and you can't read it, move on. That's the goal there. We, we don't need this. Athletes drink it because they're running on empty, basically, and when they drink it, it shoots right into their digestive system, and it goes right to their bloodstream, and it helps their muscles to not cramp up. But then what they're not showing you is they're not drinking a whole amount of this. What are they diluting it with? Water. And half the time, they're actually eating some fruit instead of having this. But it's a gimmick, and they put LeBron James on it, and so they're like, oh, the kids, they go for it. So really, the only time you would need this is, uh, you know, if you feel like your muscles are cramping up because you're an Olympic athlete, right? You're working out for like six, seven hours. Or if you have the flu and you can't keep something down, you can go for this too, for the electrolytes that are in it. That's always a good little trick. But honestly, orange juice has way more potassium than this does. So this is going to help your muscles not cramp more and help you when you're sick. Dilute it with a little bit of water. I can put anything down once and I and. I didn't even have Gatorade. Really? Yes. I, I, I didn't really care. <laughs> Mom never bought me Gatorade, but I tried it a long time ago. How about these? Ooh. Ew. I have no clue what that even is. The cousin to this would be like a Red Bull. Okay. okay. These are these. You should have a law against it, just like cigarettes. You should have to be 21 to buy this because they, pretty soon no. these are going to be on a poster as a gateway. They're so dangerous. Little kids have been drinking them in school and actually being sent to the hospital because it gives them heart palpitations and it actually causes little tears in their heart. So these are like super dangerous. So we try not to say no to anything in the nutrition world, but these are definitely a uh, no. Don't go for the and energy And I don't drinks. even like those. Good. Because I don't even know what they are. You know what your natural energy is? Fruits and vegetables were around before those even were. So you put some bananas, some kiwis, some oranges, some grapefruit in a bowl, and you just made your first in a bowl. So you should go over this. It's so delicious. Jump for all of them except for watermelon and banana. When I eat these, I think of that song. I'm so happy. Love it. How much sugar is in this lovely bottle of soda? That's a lot of sugar, huh? I think green soda. Green? Yeah. Okay. Green soda. So can you guess how many teaspoons of sugar is in this um, container here, which is in this whole bottle? Ten. It's a little higher than that. Oh, I'll go my own I'm gonna go with two cups. Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen teaspoons? So teaspoons are the little one, tablespoons are the bigger one. Tablespoons or teaspoons? Teaspoons. There's 50. 52. Oh my Good job. Goodness. High five, high five, high five. Good job. Is that a 50? Yeah. He's going out through the door on my right. So you're going to be going all the way around the square that is the school. Hi. 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 you win. Second grade? Yeah. How about you? Do you like school? Yeah. My agency works with people. Little kids all the way up to grown-ups. 
our grandmas and grandmas someplace after school if their parents work. And we have programs oh, yeah. with Dad and I Chef Jessica, I'm with Creating Healthy Solutions. I do a lot of community events to spread the word about nutrition and healthy eating and clean eating. So for the next 20 minutes, my brain is your brain. So let's take a vote what we want to start off learning first. Do we want to learn about fruits and vegetables first? Do we yeah. want to learn about, well, sorry, you didn't even hear the rest of the choices, but you must love fruits and vegetables like me. Next is drinks. Yes. Yeah. And the last one's fiber. So raise your hand, fruits and vegetables. Drinks. Fiber. You love fiber too? Fiber's my favorite. All right, we're going to do fruits and vegetables. All right, these are our fruits and vegetables. So the way I think about food is go slow and whoa. So now when you're driving in the car and the light turns green, what do you do? Go. Go. go! So when you see fresh fruits and veggies, what do you do? Go! You go for them. They're like your superfoods. They're the most healthiest ones you can have. The fresher, the better. The more colors, the better. They help your hair, your eyes, your skin. They protect you from getting sick. If you make a fruit salad with mango, pineapple, kiwi, oranges, and a little squeeze of lime, that's your tropical fruit salad, and throw some mint in there, that's a wrinkle fighter. It produces collagen inside of your skin and tightens your face. I'm 83 years old. I eat that tropical fruit salad breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and look. So when the light turns yellow, what do you do? Slow down. You slow down. You think about it. So when you see like canned fruits, or you see canned veggies, or like stir-fried veggies, um, tomato juice, you kind of want to just stop and think about it. Do I have a fresh version of this that I could have? Do I really need to have this? Frozen fruits and vegetables, however, they have the same nutritional value as fresh. So sometimes the frozen options are a lot cheaper than the fresh, so you can absolutely go for that. But it's the canned ones, because you want to think about it, right? If it's in a can, they have to have done something to it to stay inside the can. It's living in a metal can. Not to say you shouldn't go for it if that's the only thing you have. Definitely better to go for canned fruit if you have the choice. Then you got the red light. What do you do? Oh, stop. You stop. You say, whoa, do I really need to eat this? This isn't like the healthiest thing for me. Why am I eating this? So ketchup used to be a tomato. It's been a long way processed before it goes. What are you doing? My good being a white. Yes, being a white. Soda. <laughs> French fries used to be a potato, but they took the skin off there with the nutrition. They sliced it, they deep fried it, they put salt on it. You can see how it went up the pyramid, right? Yeah. The little vegetables inside of this chicken pot pie. But if you are going to have a chicken pot pie, add more vegetables to it. You can't go wrong with veggies. If you're hungry, eat the veggies. My name is Otis, and I have this exercise bike that I go on. All right, and what do you do? Just ride the bike for how long? Like, like Nails. 20 minutes. All right. I, th I, I said Pretty that. Much usually on, on Saturdays and Sundays, play, watch, I mean, I'm uh, play outside all day. All day? What's your Pretty name? Pretty much. Like for three hours. Love it. <laughs> and, <laughs> And Luke, okay, Luke also plays outside. Hold on one second, hon. Um, one time I actually jogged the whole day, and I was so hard to press the kind of <laughs> What's your name? So jogging is a great yeah, exercise. Right. And I have seven it's, bucks. It's start to jog, so it's just... <laughs> guys, I have... And I have seven bucks. And he has seven bucks. Okay, now you. Walking up and down the stairs with laundry baskets. Oh, uh, well, that's not so much fun, though, honey. No, it's not. <laughs>
sometimes, sometimes uh, I play basketball. Awesome. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. What do we say here? Softball. Softball. I play baseball, soccer, and baseball. Oh, and and sometimes too. Too about healthier options, and we like to encourage you to make healthier options. It's for mom and dad. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So we're a relationship violence prevention program. So we use the word relationship because we cover all kinds of things, peer violence, bullying, family violence, um, and dating violence. So depends on the age that we're working with. We work with fifth graders through high school. So we do actually come to Westport Middle School every year, but if you want any resources, this is kind of like adult stuff, and if they want to grab any of this stuff, definitely help yourself. It is, yeah, it is mainly Fall River. Um, if you're interested in Right, right, right. Because that's something that draws too. I was drawing it on a cable box. Exactly. I mean, essentially, you could you have everything in these if you want to turn it on. Like a bracelet? Yeah. So it's easy. Alright. Alright.
can experiment. You can make your own. Make a really big one. Make a really, really tiny one and see if it still works. Do you remember how to make it? Yes. No. No, all you have to do is unfold it and copy it. Oh, you can't make it. So I can just Thank ask you. him. All right, thanks. See you guys later. Bye. And then the other thing you can do is you can eat an apple. You can have mom and dad cut up an apple for you, cut up an orange, you can have half an apple. Because there's something in the fruit that's really important. And it's called fiber. Have you heard of fiber before? Yeah. So fiber is super duper important and it's found in fruit. So when you eat the fruit whole, you get the sugar and the fiber. All right? I know. PJ, it's first Okay, do we have everybody? That's a silly question. Do we have everybody back in the room? If you're not in the room, you won't be answering, right? <laughs> All right, I think everybody is back here. What a good audience you are. I told you at the beginning. dozens of these over the past four or five years and I got to tell you quite honestly this is one of my favorite audiences you're so engaged you're so interested you're so attentive everybody was in that gym working out I bet I didn't even have to tell you to everybody get into it at the beginning because you're all so good you should be very proud of yourself right. the people from the um, resource agencies are just cleaning up their tables tonight but what I'd like you to do is would you be so good as to give them a hand for coming out tonight Yeah, they do. Uh, they do great, uh, great things in the Greater Fall River area. Um, also, even though I don't think they're where you can hear them, could you give a big hand for Suzanne and Michael Ramos in the workout station? I love the way you're all moving. I think you should be proud of yourself. And the point that they were making too, if you got it, and I hope you did, is that you don't have to pay a lot of money to exercise. Walking is free. Going up the stairs instead of taking an elevator—that's free. There are a lot of things that you can do for nothing. As Suzanne was pointing out, shoveling snow, doing your laundry, cleaning house, all those fun things that you can do for free, but that's still exercise, so good. And also, even though she's way down the end of the hall, can we give a nice hand for Chef Jess for everything that she taught you? A lot of very good information there. So I hope you had some fun, as well as getting a lot of good information, and now we come to the door prize part. Everybody should have, every family should have gotten one door prize ticket at the beginning, so you want to get that door prize ticket out. There's a number on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask your principal to draw the numbers. And I always do this when we come to family fun nights for two reasons. The principal always knows the students and the families, and I do not. So she can say, oh, it's the Jones family, congratulations. I can't say that because I don't know you personally as much as I would like to. The second reason, Maybe even more important, the reason that I have the principal draw the numbers is because if she doesn't draw your number, it's not my fault. <laughs> See how that works? Okay, uh, and I also too, as I introduce your principal, I want to thank her for, for the support that she gave us in putting this together. So thank you so much. Now I really want to say thank you for, for being here tonight. Um, it's a gorgeous night, probably the first gorgeous night that we've had. Um, probably like six months, but anyway, um, but thank you so much for coming out, for being with your kids, um, for just supporting us. This is the very first time we've ever done anything like this, and so as always, the first time, you don't know, but you know what? I just want to say, truly, I salute all of you for being here tonight, so give yourselves a hand. Healthy groceries. Zero two seven five six nine.
Okay, and our second number is 027583. Oh, wonderful. 027583. All right! Good to see you! Good job! Okay, good work cut out for you. Seven, five, seven, two. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Patrick. Good job. Woo okay. Drum roll. Come on, fourth graders. You know how to do drum roll. Zero, two, seven, five, seven, five. Us, and we totally appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Bye, guys.